Hi guys, it's Ashley and today I created a really simple look that's easy to wear when you're going to work or if you don't have much time and you're going to school. Um, people have been commenting on my Instagram photos and videos that they wanted to see something that's super simple to do and this is the look that I came up with. Um, it's something that I would usually do if I only had a few minutes to get ready and if you want to see how I created this look then please continue watching. So I'm going to be starting with a damp beauty blender and my L'Oreal Matte Infallible Pro Foundation in this in the shade um, Shell Beige and it's usually good for people with oily skin or combination skin because this one's matte and it usually dries off easily so what I do is I put it on my finger and I put it on one part of my face first before I blend it out and then on the other side after. So after putting on foundation, the next thing you have to do is to put on concealer and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade number 10 which is light and I use this to cover up my under eyes and I usually put it in a triangular shape so that um, if ever you guys take photos then it wouldn't like make you look like a raccoon with the circles under your eyes. And then I also put it on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and under my chin. And then I just blend it all with my damp beauty blender again. that everything is well blended the next thing I do is set it with um, my Ben Nye powder that I put in a different container um, I got this container from um, baby and I just transferred it and then um, I'm gonna be using this to set the concealer so that it doesn't crease throughout the day and I'm gonna be using a dry beauty blender to apply it on I'm gonna be leaving it for a few minutes just to set it and then I'm going to be starting with my favorite part, which is going to be doing my brows. And um, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Brow Pomade in the shade um, Soft Brown. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lining the tail of my brows first. And then I'm just going to be outlining it. So I'm outlining it first. I'm drawing on it lightly so that it doesn't come out too harsh. And then I'm also doing the top part. I'm just filling in my eyebrows and I'm not gonna be using too much product when it gets to the front part of my brows so that it doesn't come off as too strong. I'm just spreading out the product that I have left on my brush. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush it out with the spoolie so that it comes off as more natural looking and that it becomes lighter. And then I'm just going to be doing the same thing with the other eyebrow, off cam. After doing my brows, the next thing I'm doing is I am going to be brushing away the powder that I put on to set my concealer a while ago. And then I'm going to be I'm going to be using the Pixi Highlight and Contour Palette. And this is perfect so that it makes your face look smaller and for you to have higher cheekbones. So I'm taking 
these two colors and I'm gonna be mixing them with just this huge fluffy brush and then I'm gonna be tapping off the excess and I'm gonna be putting it from the top of my ear down to the side of my lips here. Can you see the difference? This one's so much smaller than this side. So I'm just doing the same on the other side. Not only doing it on my cheeks, but I'm doing it on my jawline as well and on my temples. And then I'm taking a small fluffy brush. It's actually an eyeshadow brush, but I'm going to be using it to contour my nose so that it looks more matamos. And I'm using the same shades that I used a while ago. And then I'm just going to be using the Damp Beauty Blender to blend it up. And if you still have a little bit of extra time, then you could use the same brush and the same colors and you can put it on your eyelids so that you have a little bit of depth when it comes to your eyelids. And then I'm going to be using my Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I'm just going to be using the same brush that I used a while ago and I'm going to be applying it on my cheeks. And then I'm going to be using this mascara from Brow House. Um, it's called their HD Mascara by Brow House. And I like this because it doesn't clump and it makes my lashes look really long. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be curling my lashes and then I'm gonna be putting it on. And the last thing I'm doing is I'm gonna be putting on my uh, blotted lip from ColourPop which I only got for 350 pesos and it's like a really cute um, shade. It's in the shade Deja Vu. It's actually um, from Alexis Ren's collection and I like it because it's perfect for every day. Like it's not, it's not matte but it's not creamy and it makes you, it makes you look like you just have natural color and I'm gonna be putting it on. So the video got cut, but um, this is it. I'm wearing the shade Deja Vu. And what I usually do is I get a piece of tissue and then I just blot my lips with it so that it, uh, it looks more natural. So this is the finished look that I came up with and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so that I'd know. And please subscribe to my channel and I hope that you guys learned something from today's video. Um, please comment the things you'd like to see in my future videos. Thank you, thank you so much.